my project is called uh, Transgenic Bestiary, and it's about the potential of uh, genetic manipulation and genetic sequencing. And what I was interested in was uh, the possibility of using this technique in a different context than the scientific or medical one. So I guess it's, it's a mix between um, some real scientific information about something called DNA barcoding, which is just a way to identify animals with a very short sequence of DNA, and just some kind of imaginary world where you create monsters and hybrids and you just like play um, with these shapes. This is basically a simplified tree of life. And uh, the idea is that it's supposed to help you understand the link between the different animals. You can't mix everything together. Some won't work and it's linked with the distance between these animals. So for example, this ant and this cockroach are two insects, they're really close to each other, so they will mix together really easily. But if you just jump to here, for example, this is a completely different branch. It's, they're totally unrelated. Start with this one, maybe. Right, so it, starts, it always starts with the body, and then it just tries to add the head. So let's try with an elephant. Okay, fairly stable. It may sound like science fiction, but um, now you can actually identify an animal if it's in the database in about two hours in a lab. And um, this technique will probably evolve just and become really mundane. And uh, I mean, it's really likely that they will be used in a different context than just lab.